welcome to Mudding with Beaks. This is episode 23. And I'm going to show you what the old world really looked like and what they didn't show you in school. And today, speaking of schools, we're going to go to a high school in Northampton, Massachusetts in 1906. And we're going to see mud flood windows right here on the bottom floor. These are probably going into the ground and they have been changed over. We would have added these stairs. Got a couple hoodlums here and some more hoodlums here. They like to be doing that. Got our uniforms. Anytime you see people wearing the same thing, it's a uniform. And got a diamond symbology with as above, so below. And it's also an eight point asterisk. Got your cross, your flat plane, your north and south, your X representing your Taurus. Got some heads here on the end of these uh, pieces of the uh, archway here. These doors were probably really tall at one point. There's that same head. This probably represents the flat earth. A lot of people think it would represent the sun, but I think it's a, a symbol for flat earth. Um, you can see the, the ground level is here, and then they have, they've got this dirt here. So if you take away the dirt, the, the building goes down into the ground. Obviously, there's a room under here. Why would you do that? You know, it just doesn't make sense. It's not how you build. Got ivy growing up here, arched windows. These windows are very interesting here. That's something you don't get to see very often. A lot of times you'll see that the window, the arched window, but you rarely get to see it open like that. Got a portal that's open that help with getting the air into the building. Got another portal up here. Probably had a bell in here. Got an ether fence, ether antenna here with a mercury ball. And they throw flags on there to throw you off. Some sort of domey thing here. Got another ether fence here with a Florida Lee and a, a shell, which would be Phoenician. These old school glass telephone pole caps. This represents the Taurus field. This was a this is a big arch here. So this would have gone into the ground and the door would have been much bigger. You could kind of see the, how big that door was, but I think that door was much bigger than that. They might have even changed this one from a window and brought the door up. Hard to say there. Got some symbology here. We would have added the uh, crappy writing, which is ridiculous. This looks like a church, Baptist church, maybe. And this door would have probably been as tall as from the ground level here all the way up originally. And we would have cut that in half and added the stairs here. See how the steps just don't, they don't jive with that. Doesn't look right. Just a little off. Can't see a lot more in there. Okay, let's move on. This is 1908 High Street in Holyoke, Massachusetts. Looks like there's a theater here. Wow, that's just beautiful. That That is really cool. Very cool. Got your uh, tourist field there. Very beautiful design work. It looks like they've added lights here, but it, it, I'm not sure that's original. It's like they've changed that. 
you see these open windows here this was for ventilation but what's strange is look at how these these big windows are here it just doesn't make sense why you would put those big windows in there and then you have to cover them up because the sun's too much and goes in just like no planning involved here got ventilation into the underground right here it's probably the box office right here eggs 25 cents boater hats boater hats have an interesting history that's boss man right there hitching post another hitching post lots of arched windows got a portal pyramid beautiful brickwork here ether antenna with a crappy flag on it diamond symbology I mean just the <laughs> those power lines you got these beautiful buildings and then we come in and add these crappy power lines like there's no thought to this it's just adaption beautiful just beautiful building I don't know where this town is I've never heard of it but it's just beautiful little city I mean little town or city I don't know how big it is ether antenna ether fence right there just amazing this cool old car what you doing there fella y'all look like you're up to no good got pavement light here and right there and we've got let's see some kind of problem with the brick right here what's happened here they had a fire or something definitely some sort of damage strange huh That's odd control is that a pulley system yeah okay so they're they're repairing this thing or something we got a block and tackle or something weird it must have had fire or something here something happened right here okay I'm being nosy anywho interesting brickwork there oh wow, that's nice this all facade all this is brick everything's brick 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 antiquity coppola looks like a, a gazebo on top of a building that's a new one got a clock could be pavement light right there but not sure There's the horse that built America right there. He's at work. Hard to see, but he's there. He's always there. Working. This is uh, circa 1922. The Fisk reading machine in the hand of its inventor, Rear Admiral Bradley Fisk. This is some kind of weird thing I ran across. An adventure with a genius. Very strange. As a book in a little tiny reading machine. That is so weird. So, it's a Tartarian Kindle. <laughs> Anywho, okay, this is in 1930. Uh, I, I don't even know what to say. 
This thing's got three electrical lines going into it, so at least I mean, what what are we running here? Uh, one ten times three. Three hundred thirty volts. I mean, does that make sense? That one going over here. I don't know where we're going. Going up. I don't know where what the heck's going on this thing. This one's going to this motor. This one's going. Looks like over here, maybe already straight in. then I don't know I don't know what the hell's going on here got got these weird iron doors right here then you got dumbass sitting in the box that's dumbass and he's got controls does he not look scared for his life he looks like he's about to shit himself that's just my opinion I don't know for sure what the hell's that thing? I don't know. Just something I ran across. If you know what it is, let me know. This is Detroit 1902 Cadillac Square and Wayne County Building. There is the man that picks up the horse shit. In case you need to know where he is. In case you're concerned about that. And there is Fred. He's right there at work. Backing up to make a delivery. Because he, you know, built America. He is the horse that built America. That's his cousin right there. That's a sign of underground right there. See that raised platform? It's very possible that's got a uh, pavement light in it. And also it's very probable that's a... A vault under there that looks like a coal hole cover there got a fire hydrant there that looks like boss man right there German American Bank hmm okay that makes sense it's interesting how it's dirty on this side and clean on this side a lot of these buildings they had to go in there and, and scrub because they had some sort of damage on them something happened that uh got these buildings dirty i don't know what but it's very interesting Pyramid symbology there. Pyramid symbology there. Got an underground here. See the iron railing? That's underground. They've got a modified stair going up into here to get up into a higher level here. So this ground level is probably at an angle, even though it's hard to tell. We'd have we would have added this fire escape here definitely built that but you got that antenna array right there yeah what's that do get okay, their antenna back here laurel leaf of, of laurel leaf of control this would have been original here this would have been original, original. This would have been added the all the bullshit from the Civil War. That's all added. That's to to fill in the story. Back up the story. They probably took something off these pedestals. These are eagles, but you can swap out uh, them for uh, phoenixes. We definitely built this right here. This is our work. You can see that's definitely quality. Definitely, definitely quality. Mr. Contractor built that. Mr. Stick Framer. 
Yep. I got a big old cannon thing right there. That's interesting. Oh, what's going on there? It might be a water fountain. Not sure. Good graciously, that thing. That thing's a monster. Dang. Why would you need this in 1902? Okay, Antiquitec up here. Look at the Coppola. My goodness. I mean, that's just insanity, man. 1902. Can you build that, Mr. Stick Framer? Send me a quote. Smokestacks that aren't smokestacks. We used them as smokestacks, and you see what happens. <laughs> you see all the smoke? Those aren't smokestacks. I'm not sure what they are, but they're not smokestacks. We used them as smokestacks. Because, you know, we're stupid. There's Fred's cousins. They're at work. See, they built this place, you know. Very hard workers, see. They get around. They get it done, man. Ventilation into the underground here and here. Got a coal hole cover here. got an underground here entrance there and when I say coal hole covers what's important about that is that means that there's a vault under there this is hollow underneath the sidewalk it's called a vault that's a construction term pyramid symbology etheric fence there ether antenna with the mercury ball this would be a fire ladder here that we would have added and it would you would have been able to hook a hose up to to this thing right here i mean why would you not incorporate that ladder in in a better way or something i don't know that's just total crap interesting got some uh trolley cars there This kind of trolley car is so interesting because it's just open. I don't know. It reminds me of Disney World. Okay, moving on. Okay, so for all of you uh, Civil War believers, believing that men stood in a field and fired muskets and cannons at each other one at a time and didn't duck or hide or you know stood there and took it like men you know because they're brave bullshit when's the last time you knew a man or woman anybody human being that stood there and let another human being fire a gun at them without doing something like ducking <laughs> or firing back or running or I don't know charging doing something no this is what they give us okay you you want to see a battle photo of the Civil War good fucking luck you ain't gonna find it there ain't no battle photo you ain't gonna see no musket balls flying or cannonballs flying or smoke in the air and charging and swords swinging and men fighting and blood splatter you ain't gonna see it because it ain't there it don't exist could they take a picture then well what is this is that a picture of the civil war era huh it looks like a pretty damn good picture if you ask me so you're telling me that all the people that went out there on the sidelines and watched the battles quote unquote didn't want to take a picture of this you think a man with a camera in this day and age any day and age do you, do you think the paparazzi would sit around and let a battle take place and not take a damn picture of it you know how much that picture would be worth any idea 
one effing picture of a Civil War battle. One. You know how much that'd be worth? You're telling me with one asshole with a camera didn't figure out how to hide in the woods and take a picture of the Civil War battle. No. No. They give you this. See that? That's called the hidden hand, people. And I think that's a symbol for the cover-up of the mud flood. If you imagine that hand is a building and it's going into the mud and this is your ground level, the jacket. And this dumbass don't know how to do it properly. He's a dumbass. I'm a dumbass. He is a handsome devil right there. You got to give him credit for that. But the truth is, this is just horsing around, man. Do these do these fellows look like they're about to go off to war to die? Do they look like hardened veterans? No, they look like they came from the bar. Moving on. Indianapolis, 1906. Knights of Pythias. Pythias, however you want to say it. Building. Looks like the Flat Iron Building. And we got the Popo here. Okay. He's watching this fella. Who's groveling. Saying, please, please. Don't make me pay your taxes, man. Please. There's Fred. He's back there doing his job. As always, Fred built this place. Fred is the horse that built America. I think that is boss man right there. He's shadowy, but he's boss man. That's a cool trolley right there. Operative department store. That's interesting. Think about that for a second. Operative department store. Ponder on that for a second. Huh. I'll leave you with that. Interesting Coppola. Wow, look at the antenna on that sucker, man. They're going to pull in all the ether in the state with that thing. That's insanity. Diamond symbology. Big old arch windows. Pyramid symbology. Got a fire hydrant, an underground stairs going down. That's underground. Got another one here. So that's going into an underground area. Pyramid symbology. Looks like they're building something, scaffolding or something inside the building. That's weird. Horse crap lettering. More horse crap lettering. We would have added that symbol of the horse field right here keystone symbology this thing looks very circuit boardy money to loan I bet you got money to loan oh wow it's a unscrubbed cartouche with a maybe a dagger or tell what the rest of it is. That is a rarity right there. Wow. Super cool. Ether antenna. I think these had something to do with the, the energy system. This is all facaded. This is a brick building with facade. It looks like a stone building, but it's not. It's facade. It's a covering. It's just a covering. Everything's brick. And they put these awnings up here to keep the sun from going in. But you think, I mean, just think about it. You can build this beautiful building, but you, you can't come up with a better idea for blocking the sun. This is the, the best horse crap idea you got. Seriously? just it's just it's laughable absolutely laughable laughable 1912 how Halcy, halcyon hotel halcyon hotel not spelling that right not pronouncing that right 12th street and 
Avenue B in Miami, Florida. So there is a Disney World-ish castle in Miami, Florida in 1912. I did not know that. That's gangster right there. Totally gangster. Okay. Palm trees. Oh, anybody need to see horse poo? There's your horse poo. There's never any horse poo. I don't understand it. Well, sometimes there is. And there's a guy that his job is to clean up the horse poo. I don't know what people don't understand about that. Ask Mr. Foster here. Okay, whatever. Interesting facade work. It looks Moorish with these turrets here. The lights going on here. Those are cool. <laughs> Beautiful pillars representing the Taurus field there. Yeah, <laughs> y'all, this, this, I just want to put this out there. This right here, this stuff right here, this stuff right here, okay? The, the, <laughs> it, it's not foam. <laughs> there was It was recently put out that that, that that is done with foam. This is 1912. I don't think they had fucking foam. And I don't think this building was built in 1912 either. And I don't think it was built when they say it was built either. They sure as hell didn't have no fucking foam. Foam. <laughs> ah, there's Fred. He's on the job. He is working. He's he's got him a high end client today. He's working. He's making that good money. These are uh, ether antennas here. all over the roof but those things are filled with mercury I don't know looks like a gazebo I wonder what the gazebos were for okay this is March 1862 in Manassas Virginia Orange and Alexandria Railroad wrecked by retreating confederates so the horseshit narrative is going to say that this is a wrecked train by confederates and um, let's see Uh, okay. <laughs> That's boss man right there. So, everything burned. That's Fred. He's on, on the job of the union today. Got these random trees sticking out of the ground here. It's very odd so there was a building here or something wow look at the size of that stone right there that's pretty interesting Got another chimney here so I mean this looks like a do attack very interesting not sure what's going on here. This is very odd. Looks like a town there. Look at these trees. 
got these trees all over the place with they're just sticking up I mean are they supposed to be telegraph lines maybe it might be a line right there that might be what it is so it might be a telegraph line hard to tell I don't know that's a very strange and odd picture I don't know let's see what's that another one of them post very weird okay and this is 1942 Washington DC scrap salvage campaign victory program so basically they're trying to get rid of evidence of the old world I believe is what the scrap iron program was about in uh, World War II and um, Agricola Furnace Company I kind of I kind of find it hard to believe that, that people in this day and age you know I know they say they needed <clears throat> metal for the war but find it hard to believe that they would scrap out all this old stuff that could be used so you got the uh, radiation symbol there which is interesting all right okay we got 1943 this is taken in Washington DC a sign outside the National Zoological Park and I just thought it was kind of funny or odd or a little weird lost children and articles will be taken to the lion house losses should be reported there so we'll stick the lost children in the lion house anywho Mobile Alabama 1901 Alabama Medical College and it's very interesting that we can build a building of this structure yet we can't pave the road we don't know how to do that Fred is over here to the right and Fred is the horse that built America in case you didn't know you can't see him but he's there very hard at work and I think it's interesting how large this curb is these children sitting here the curb is as big as their legs well half their legs you get the point but that's really kind of a big <laughs> thing there I don't know got an infinity symbol a diamond symbology as above so below Florida Lee Another Florida Lee here. That wrought iron is amazing. Really intricate. That, I mean, that had to be expensive to make that. Got a mud flood window here, in case you like mud flood. More mud flood windows down here. Probably one right there, hard to see. One there. Got two there. One there, one there. And can't see the other side. What you got over here? Oh, we probably built that. Nice stick frame house. Oh, yeah, we can stick frame. Yep, we can nail two pieces of wood together that we can handle we got a lot of people that can still do that that's kind of our thing you know I guess we can build out of bigger and better things now look at the intricacy there very interesting the arched windows I find it interesting that in this time that they would make a window that's curved 
that has to be difficult. I don't know how you cut a curve in a window, but I mean, I would think that back then that would be difficult. But I don't know. I've never cut a curve in a window. Maybe it's easy. Probably is easy. I just don't know. It's probably my ignorance. Anyways. New York. 1905. Coney Island. Luna Park Promenade. And we've got a Phoenician ship. One, two, three, four. And I see the kid from... Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom here. But these were fun to make. Very interesting. I don't think that... I, I think we added these lights and electric right here on these. It just looks junky. Looks like something that we would do looks very uh, it's really pretty at night which is the point of the lights but during the day it it, it really is very junky and we're known for crap like signage like that so I, I don't I don't think that that's old world but I do think Luna Park is old world these trolley parks you know these antennas here I think they were part of the free energy system I think maybe they, they worked as to uh, recycle the uh, energy through the system and keep the the energy moving and flowing somehow just just my thoughts it's like arc light That's boss man right there. Sea and land. That's cruel what they do to poor elephants. So we have this crazy looking light po pole here with a plant on it because that makes sense I mean it's obviously obviously we added this and this 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 they've destroyed some sort of antiquitech there and taken apart and it's like a they've turned it into a thrift store lamp <laughs> junked it up so now we're going to let the the patrons ride the the uh, elephants poor elephants unbelievable another arc light Got a bunch of them ah, what a world what are you riding there fella does that look like a, um, a Tartarian Griffin that 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 fellow's riding there? I don't know. It could be a dragon. Hard to tell. I don't know. It's more like a dragon. I don't know. Not sure about that one. Very interesting. Okay. New York, 1905, St. Regis and Gotham Hotels. Uh, looking south along 5th Avenue and East 56th Street. And for people that need to see the horse poo, there is the horse poo and there is some more horse poo. So, you know, that's important. That fellow right there is, he is on the clock. That's a bad little car. I like that. Look at that wrought iron work. Man, oh man. Tell me that don't look like tourist field. That's badass. It looks like a, a Florida Lee right there. Some sort of critter right there. Can't tell exactly what it is. 
that's interesting uh, not sure what's going on with that picture's not clear enough man look at the the designs on this thing i mean that's really quite something got shells phoenician wow look at that got your diamond your as above so below pyramid very antiquity right there wow Florida Lee ether fencing right here arched windows there's a uh, Fred the horse he's he's the one that built America because uh, you know they built all this with horses and carts just so you know one thing they didn't build it with is sticks and nails this is brick so you know if you're concerned about you know stick frame buildings that were built in this time period well you know who cares <laughs> they built stick in the old world also but we can ignore that <laughs> let's just stick with the brick if you can't comprehend the stick concept work with the brick it's a lot simpler to understand that's cool right there man all this is brick it's just facaded it's just covered over Wow. Shoo. That is something else. Man, you just don't get this quality today. There's a flat earth asterisk right there. Man portals all across it all across the top there scrubbed cartouches other flat earth to asterisk scrubbed cartouche that's a weird um antenna right there that to me seems like it might have been us adding it I just don't think they put antennas off the side of the building but that's my opinion so you got two up here that look probably the same as this one if you get up there I can't see it too good I wonder what kind of critter that is it's like a it might be a shell it's hard to tell man oh man that's a bad building very antiquity big old church see I think they I think we did these poles like this off to the side hanging off at a, at a 45 I, I just don't think we did that they that's old world I don't think that's old world I, I think that we added that for some you know let's you know support the flag raising you know propaganda I don't know it's weird more antennas antennas wow that's a badass light pole man I mean somebody would have had to have some money to pay for that what is this fella doing this guy right here look at it they got a ladder going all the way across here resting on the staircase got a rope going up A block and tackle oh, well, I don't know where the hell he's going man oh let me look at the rest of this here Ooh look at that hmm man look at the scale of that thing 
Does that make sense? I love how New Yorkers put these fences in front of their house. I mean, they, they build these elaborate front doors, supposedly, and then put this crap in front of it. I mean, <laughs> what'd you do? Run out of genius architecture to put... I mean, you can't do better than that. Seriously? You're going to build this, you know... Look at the detail on that thing right there. Right? Looking up. Look, I mean, seriously. Oh, good Lord. That's like an Antiquitec orgasm. Good grief. Holy majoli. That thing's badass. Oh, there's another one. Damn. Tartarian lions up here. All across the top. Scrubbed cartouches. Oh, baby. Oh, this is good stuff here. Woo-wee. Man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I mean, this can't be America. This got to be Europe. These pictures is labeled wrong. That's it. I figured it out again. Look at this fella. Look at these faces here. It's interesting. I mean, seriously. That's creepy. Is that a person or is that a... I don't know. That's creepy. I mean, seriously, you're going to build this crap, this crap fence in front of that... Seriously? Oh, my goodness. I mean, the story just tells itself. Look at those lights. Damn. What a world, man. There's another church. How many churches in there? One, two, three. Three ter churches in this one shot. That's crazy. Man, oh man. And yet we can't pave the damn road. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously? I, I just, that, that dog don't hunt. New York, 1905, Harlem River from High Bridge. View of Harlem River Speedway and Washington Bridge. Okay, so that's the Harlem River and that's the Washington Bridge. Who does a big arches? Man, in 1905. Look at the scale. Look at the size of that little sap sucker right there compared to. There's another. Look, look, look at that little tiny fella. That little midget fella. Compared to that monstrosity. I mean, in 1905. The scale doesn't match. That's interesting design work there. Smokestacks in the back that ain't smokestacks. Big old arch windows back there. That is enormous. Arched windows. That's all old world. It's kind of star forty looking right there. Is that art that angled wall? Not saying it is a Star Fort, just saying it looks Star Forty. Don't get your britches in a bind. And there is Fred. He's just hanging out. He must be taking a break. You know, he built America and all. There's his cousins. This must be the speedway. Uh, what are they racing? Horses? That's weird. DOS engine and power. Okay. New York yacht launch. Okie dokie. Alrighty. I'm just peeping in on this old world here. See what's going on. 
see if we can find any spot any clues to what the hell happened in our realm you just never know where the clues are going to come from it could be a sign new amsterdam it could be a sign it could be a building it could be a person what the, something they're doing you get what you ask for it reminds me of uh alex jones screaming this is what you want this is what you get this is what you want this is what you get <laughs> oh, always crack me up poor alex <laughs> i don't know what happened to him man but after 20 about 2013 he went off the off the rails i don't know where he went but i think they probably got to him because he was a hell of a researcher up until then and then he went all squirrely that is a cool little boat right there i don't know anyways new york 1907 interior saint patrick's cathedral It's just massive. Unbelievable. How could we build this? I don't know. It just doesn't add up. Whoa, mama. I don't even know what's going on there. That's like otherworldly. What in the world, man? Jeez, it gets, oh man, it gets more. Oh man. That's crazy. I mean, seriously, how in the world could we have built this? We're just not that good. I mean, stick frame buildings, you know, putting two sticks together and nailing them together. We can do that. Monkey can do that. You can train a monkey to nail two sticks together. I really think that's possible. I don't see how you can't. Hell, I saw a monkey on YouTube today, and the son of a bitch opened the door for the pizza delivery man, handed him the money, and took the pizza and closed the door back. And you tell me we can't have a monkey build a house, putting two sticks together and nail them. I'm not putting down, you know, stick framers, not in the least. I'm just saying that compared to building something like this, you're amateurs. Amateurs. Okay. And you know it. I ain't offending you. If you're a stick framer, then you know you ain't building that. You know that. Either that or you're lying to yourself. Or lying to people you're telling that you could do this. Which is it? I know you're not telling, telling it right. If you think as a framer, a modern day framer with power tools and air tools and cranes and bobcats and forklifts and concrete trucks you tell me you could build this I'm calling you out you full of shit New York 1910 Fifth Avenue building and Broadway on Madison Square Oh my goodness, I got flags on them. How about that? So they put flags on the Antiquitec poles. Well, they got to hide them somehow. I mean, they had to explain what they're doing there. You can't just have a big ass pole sitting on top of a roof and not give somebody an explanation for it. They're going to have questions. At some point, somebody down here is going to go, look, I know that y'all, you know, 
maybe built that building, but why did you put those big ass poles on top of the building? You get they had to put something on them, so they put flags on them. They're too stupid to figure out anything else. If we had had TV at the time, you'd have had antennas on them. You'd have had you know your HD antenna antennas on them. Of course, they wouldn't have been HD back then because they decided to give us HD second as opposed to first. Seeing as how you know they did invent HD first. Hmm. Interesting. That is a big ass door. Guns and golf. Okay. Guns and golf. So in New York, how many people are in need of guns and golf? Oh, and fishing tackle. Is that like a common thing? You're sitting in your Manhattan apartment and you think, God, I really would like to go catch some carp today. Hmm. Got the hatter. He's mad as a hatter. A cool light pole. Got an eagle. Swap out for the phoenix. Blood flood wind is here and they put the uh, bars on them. Cover over it. Keep them safe and protected. Rod iron. What they're doing there. Got something going on. There's Fred. I don't. I didn't mean to miss you Fred. But Fred's right there working. Fred's always working. Very, very good horse. He's very loyal. He's very patriotic too. I mean, he did build this place. Antenna, antenna, antenna. In case you need those. Probably an eagle symbol up there. I mean, just look at all the horse shit riding. I'm not talking about the horse shit on the ground, people. I'm talking about the horse shit riding on the building. <sighs> okay. Let's see. This photo, photo's not clear enough to really get into like I like that door is just phenomenal united okay see they create these awnings so that it blocks the sun coming in but also it takes your eye away from what's really there so you don't notice that there's this huge door there clock There's one of them touring cars. I think those are interesting. Oh, and for the people that look for the horse shit, there's the horse shit bucket that picks up the horse shit. So you don't have to worry about that anymore. We've got that taken care of. See, this is how they say they delivered. See this right here, this horse? And this horse, this horse and cart business, this horse delivering ice. That's how they say they delivered all this, okay? They say that's, that's the official story, people. Right there. Juxtaposition. Okay. That horse delivered this. Granted, piece by piece. But that's the official story. But that gives you the juxtaposition you need to realize this horse shit. And also that that is an obelisk. Yep. So that would be bringing in ether to this whole area. Beautiful. Big old boot. Look at, man, the detail. Look at the detail on the side there. That is interesting. Looks like a gear. That's crazy looking. Man. What a world. We've just been robbed of our history. Everybody calling it the, the, his story. I call it the high story. It's a high story. Tall, you know. It's like a tall tale, high story. I don't know. I like to be different. 
and that is just crazy looking right there that's right uh, fencing right there another antenna right there that's just crazy looks like they blocked in this door here and here too picture's not really clear enough to give me the detail I need to see things like I like oh my boss man's in there somewhere there's the popo uh, looks like they scratched him out well, what's going on there I said that's boss man right there. Okay. This is New York 1917 skyscrapers looking north toward towers of Woolworth and Singer buildings. Just take that in as 1917. That is uh hard to take in <laughs> I just I just really didn't think that we were this advanced in 1917 look at the detail on that one good grief Wonder if those are pigeon houses. I got some kind of critter right there. I don't know what those things are. Something going on the roof there. I don't know what they got going. See this down here, this this makes this is what I would think of in nineteen seventeen. This would be my my mind over here. <laughs> I did, I just did had no idea really that New York was so big at this time. Those big antennas, big old truss antennas. That's crazy. Big old ether antenna. Why would you put a flagpole that damn big on top of that roof? Makes zero sense. This world just keeps going up. Look at the detail that high up where you can never see it. You can't see this from down below. Who are you trying to impress with that? It just doesn't make sense. See, we would have added this pipe here as a chimney. Look at that antenna right there. That thing is huge. I mean, that thing is six stories tall. I don't even know. That's crazy. Oh, man. Look at the cupola on that thing. And then you got an. I mean, who's going to go up there and raise a flag? And that's another thing. I mean, how often do you see flags in these pictures? Like here, you got a flag line, but there's there's never any flags, hardly. It's very, very seldom do you see the flags on the poles. Yeah, I got your pyramid. More pyramids. The tourist field. I mean, just unbelievable for 1917. I mean, I just can't imagine that they did this. I mean, it. oh my goodness, it just doesn't make any sense. You got a big old church. 
graveyard. I wonder if I, I wonder if uh, they used graveyards in the old world. I, I don't think they did. Um, they might have had uh, maybe memorial markers, maybe. But I don't think they were stupid enough to bury their dead like we do. It's absolutely ridiculous scam. Absolutely ridiculous. They've really sold us a load of crap making us buy a box to uh, Tartarian Lines there, I do believe. You know, here, buy your pine box. You know, the more elaborate, the better. God will prefer the ones in the better boxes. I mean, come on. You know, let your body decompose. You know, your energy is stored in those bones. So your your energy can't dissipate back into the earth from which it came. So that energy gets stored in those boxes for indefinitely I don't even know a long time so if you want to be detached from the earth when you die you definitely don't want to be in a box and certainly not one of those steel boxes they have today definitely uh, you know cremation is better but even still that's horseshit why do they charge you thousands and thousands of dollars to burn your body Light a match. Get some gasoline. Light a match. Do a, a pyre fire like in India. Yeah, it stinks. Death stinks. Get over it. Anywho. Newport News, Virginia, circa 1905. West Avenue Residence. Got the hoodlums here. Make sure they're hoodlumming. So I think the homes, the simple stick frame homes, are just as interesting as the buildings. Got your ether antenna right there. It's a, a fence antenna. Pyramidal shape, pyramidal shape, ether antenna. Got a portal here. Another ether uh, fence there. Arched windows. That's really cool. I bet that was fun to make. Ooh. I wonder if these homes are still here. That looks like it's brick. Another ether antenna. I think these might have served some purpose too. So that's interesting. November 1st. Uh, 1923 dedication George Washington Masonic Memorial in Alexandria Virginia oh what going on here creepy get them license plates these are probably the controllers meeting that's boss man right there definite boss man It's like they got a bunch of seats set up. That's interesting. A lot of seats. Steam pump. Okay. I have a big wooden truss built with fellas on top. Pulley system raising a truss roof. I'm assuming That's what it looks like. That's in 1923. Wow, that's a hell of a contraption. That's a hell of a way to raise a truss roof. Wow. 
That makes you think. I, I did a, tr a truss, uh, a steel, uh, a very large steel, steel uh, warehouse um, this past summer, and it was a job where it got disassembled and reassembled in a different location, and we had trusses this big, and um, we just raised them with a forklift. We had a, a big old forklift, um, massive forklift, and we just raised them up. I don't know, this thing's crazy looking. Look at that right there, that's interesting. I don't know what these people are doing. This is just, got a cameraman here. It looks like something's going on down here. Everybody's focused like right here. I don't know what the hell they're doing. It's like they're laying the cornerstone on something that's already half built. Which doesn't make sense. That's interesting how low that goes into the ground right there. I don't know. Washington George Washington Masonic Memorial. I don't I don't remember what memorial this is. That's just an interesting picture. I don't know. Uh, this is uh, November 1927. Washington man sleeps in a blanketless bed. I just thought this was comical. Man and his ideas. <laughs> A blanketless bed. I I just that's I don't know. I don't have nothing to say about that. Old Orchard, Maine, 1904, Hotel Velvet from Beach. Auto pictures made and finished in five minutes. That's interesting. Three photos. 25 cents postal photo studio. Well, wow, that's a real quick turnaround. Five minutes. Huh. Lady Zamora. Ooh. All right. Hot and cold saltwater bass. Oh, that's pretty. Wow, that'd be a, a hell of a thing to build right there. Look at that. That's a that's a flag. <laughs> it just shows you how stupid flags are on poles. They're absolutely ridiculous. They do not like being on poles. So what's the point? Got lights on there, 1904. Interesting. Man. That's a nice stick frame. And this is old world, even though it's stick frame. But if it makes you feel better to say, no, we built that, no, 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 we can build stick frame, then, you know, okay, claim this building as your own and explain all the brick buildings to me. Okay, Mr. Stick Framer, come on, we'll wait. You can have every stick frame building on the face of earth and it still won't explain any of the brick buildings. And you know it. That's pretty. So in my belief, this building is old world. That's my opinion. But, 
if it makes you feel better to say that we built this we had the capability to build this if it will you know give you a handicap so that you can feel that you can get in the game in the ring then you know fine we'll uh, let you have the stick frame houses and the buildings and that's okay you can have all the world's fairs anything made out of sticks we'll take the big the brick and you take the sticks we'll see who wins dear mister contractor did you build the Panama Canal in 1913 Or did you dig it out? This is kind of how I see them coming in and raising the trolley tracks. They come in and, and use a steam shovel and go through and dig the dirt and dig out the trolley track and then lay it back down behind them but I don't know that just looks like miserable work that dude's definitely miserable Looks like a guy underneath here. Okay. Philadelphia, 1909 Jefferson Medical College and Hospital, 10th Street. Ladies and gents, tailors, all kinds of repairing suits pressed. Got their antenna. Wow, that's some hell of architecture, man. That right there looks like pavement light to me. Hard to tell from the photograph. Same here. I'd have to see it closer. Whoa, mama. Whoa, that's a mean looking dude right there. I wonder what the thing about putting mean looking faces on buildings is. Keystone, pyramid. There's some horse crap we add to the roof. That's definitely our handiwork. Can't you tell the difference? That's juxtaposition right there. Old world versus new. Portals all the way across with lions on the top. Tartaria. More lions. In case you didn't get enough the first time. That's cool, man. And for Tartaria, substitute old world. Nobody cares about Tartaria, okay? I don't care if it was in russia or the united states i don't care if it was china i don't care if it was zimbabwe i don't give a damn i'm saying tartaria and you know i'm talking about the old world and if you don't i'm sorry for you but i'm not talking about this is tartaria i imagine this is a tartarian building You know, United States has buildings all over the world, and they say United States embassies on them. Does that make, you know, Vietnam Tartaria? <laughs> or United States? Or, I mean, you know, 18 to see, we, we would have 
pounded that crap in there or just pulled this block out and added this that'd be easy to do explain an ether antenna on the top of the building that's a little harder to do that's a little harder definitely that is a crazy building right there very cool a lot of details man that is a very tastefully done building right there wow look at the mud flood windows there's some crap we did yep those are, see that's a great there so that definitely goes into the ground so that's a mud flood window that is probably pavement light right there that is just hard to tell what it is you know it could be a great it's hard to tell it, it, it actually looks more like a great than pavement light but i don't know it's too hard to tell because this, this this is definitely a great no question and it looks just like that so but that looks like pavement light because it's lighter i don't know it's got telltale sign even the you can even see a, a divide right here and here I, i'd say that's pavement light but hard to tell detail on there really cool yeah that's a cool building right there pretty neat all right pittsburgh circa 1910 wood street and the farmer's bank germania savings bank something knocked off there That's interesting. A modified. That's probably steam. Very interesting. Man, that's a nice building. Johnson Studios. Huh. I wonder what this contraption is. Huh. Laird's Taylor Company Shoes. Wow, look at the onion domes back there. Wow. Otis Dunn. Look at the antennas on that sucker. Good gracious. Look at that thing. Dang. Portals. Big old clocks. Antennas, antennas, antennas. Home Trust Building. Okay. First National Bank of Pittsburgh. Okie dokie. That's probably a coal hole cover right there. Yeah, there's another one, there's another one. Yeah, there's coal hole covers. So there's a vault under there. There's another one right there. There's the horse shit, man. And there's his bucket, in case you need to know where the horse shit gets picked up at. Everybody's wearing their uniform. All the gals got the same uniform on. 
Look at that spiral staircase. That's cool. Oh, wow. That's badass. Oh, man. You know you'd be freaking dizzy walking down that thing. Oh. Heck no. That's an interesting. Stores and upper floors to let after extensive remodeling in 1910 huh so in 1910 they had already remodeled it that's weird That little dude on the side of the building there. Those are interesting. Those look antiquity. Look at those lights. Those are cool. There's Fred. He's on the job. Fred's always building America. You know, he delivered all this stuff, you know. Fred the horse. You know. That's what Fred does. Oh, Tartarian lines, in case you need those. You know, why are they putting so many lions on American buildings? What does the lion have to do with America? When's the last time you saw lions running around in America? Think about that. I can't remember the last time I saw a lion just, you know, barebacking it through the woods or across the plain, across the prairie. I just can't remember the last time I saw a line out in the open, out in the, oh wait, yes I can, Disney World, Disney, the Disney, uh, uh, what's it called, where they, the Disney area where they have the animals, I saw a line there, yep, well I mean he was in a cage, sort of like a habitat, but yeah he was outside. Lines have nothing to do with America. <laughs> so explain why there's lions all over these buildings. I bet you think that's a stick frame building, don't you? Nope. A lot of brick. Brick, brick, brick. That's interesting right there. Something massive on top of that building. The antennas. Man, that building's a trip. Why would you need this much space in 1910? What in the world is the plan there? What were you planning on selling to people? Like, is it Palace of Music? I wonder what stores were like back in the old world. Hey, we got a steel frame building. Yep, we know how to build with steel too. Yep, steel and wood. Bricks, not so much. Nope. Now we could build out of brick, but our brick buildings are a little bit different than the old world brick. I, I saw this uh, video. Uh, today about urbex or where they were saying that they were they were looking into a school i think it was in south carolina i can't remember where it was it was the old abandoned school it was 101 years old and they were saying that the bricks supposedly the story goes that they shipped the bricks in from europe they shipped the bricks from europe for for an entire brick school building does that make any sense <laughs> I don't know Portland Maine 1909 Congress Street south from market and there is Fred always on the job always trusty he'll always get the bricks to where it needs to go the alarm okay uh, okay we got the alarm box 
City Liquor Agency. Okay. See, we can do crooked phone poles. That's something we, we're good at. But building uh, big ass brick buildings, not not so much. That's not really what we do. No, not in this time frame. Well, I mean, you know, Fred gets the material there. I'm sure. You know, that's what he does. Fred the horse that built America. And that's a big doorway, man. Cesarean Oriental Rug New York Steam Cleaning Okay, Arch Windows mm, Nice Coppola Can you build that with wood? Sure Sure don't look like foam. <laughs> foam. <laughs> when was foam invented, y'all? Anybody know? Was it? Did they have foam in 1909? I'm just saying. Look at these windows here. Totally don't look right. Look at the size of that vase. Jeez. That's an incredible building. Okay. Very interesting. Post and Montgomery Streets, corner of Market. Another view of San Francisco after the devastating earthquake and fire in April 1906, otherwise known as directed energy weapon attack or do. It's all the same thing in 2001, if you hadn't ever seen it, you know, in person. And that's interesting. Looks like they took something off there. Representing the Taurus field there. Let's see the facading. This is all facade. It could be just chipped off the facade, but that is facade. See the brick, it's a brick building with facade. This is the facade and this is the brick. So the structure is brick. The detail, the decoration with the swastika, because the swastika was very important. You know, Hitler was, Hitler knew how important the symbol of the swastika was, so he stole that symbol. But the swastika is all over the place. It's a very important symbol. Look at that light. Damn. So this fellow's got the blueprints of how they took down the city with the do weapons. He's getting away. That's boss man right there. I mean, it just trips me out how these people, you know, supposedly lost everything, yet they're out there sightseeing. I mean, I just don't see that making any damn sense. I mean, they had they had to hit this thing hard to get this to come down, because you you can't even take a wrecking ball and just knock a wall down in these old world, world buildings. It just, they're too tough. They're built too well. They're not thin walls. They're thickly built. They're built with better, stronger brick and much better mortar. They're not built like a, a you know, a brick house today. Not at all. 
They're solid. Look at the solidness of that thing. Man, that thing. I mean, count them bricks, man. I mean, how many bricks could they manufacture at this time in this place? Look at the detail there. Good grief. Wow. I can't read it. I don't know. I can't read it. It's weird. It looks like it's been pushed down with the scalar weapon there. It, it looks like it's to me it looks pushed down i don't know and that's what they did with the twin towers they pushed it down with the scalar weapons and they they blew you know the con the the steel to get the the steel to to drop as it was coming down but they to push the building down and to turn it into dust they used a scalar weapon yeah they pancaked it. <laughs> they, they dust pancaked it. <sighs> I don't know. What a world. Crazy. Okay, sorry. It went too far. And here we got Richmond, Virginia, 1905. They call, This is a Japanese Palm Garden Jefferson Hotel. A Japanese palm garden okay first off that's not a palm garden that's a potted plant okay and not just a potted plant it, it's a few potted plants it's not even that many and it sure as hell ain't no Japanese garden and that right there looks like it's from India and then turtles okay they might be from America they might be American turtles and I tell you right now, that pond right there stinks like shit. I've, I know a guy who's got a pond just like that. And he, he has a lot of trouble get, keeping it clean. So anyways, diamond symbology right here. Oh, there's your swastika again. Swastika again. There's your tourist field. This is inside of a freaking hotel in 1905. Just amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. Big opening for that window. Wow. I think the temperature was very nice in the olden world. That's interesting symbology right there. So I'm assuming that's Jefferson. Yep, Thomas Jefferson, yep. Okay. Japanese palm garden. I think radiators are old world tech too. There's one there. The symbol you see a lot. I wish I knew what it meant. I do not. Maybe one day I'll find it out. I just don't know. This Rochester, New York, circa 1908, Hotel Seneca. There's some pavement light right there and there. This door's been modified, shortened. Phoenician wave right here. Laurel leaf of control maybe.
trunks and bags. It's weird how they used to travel with trunks. I mean, damn, them things are heavy. I can't see that symbol. A lot of symbols on the side of this building. Maybe we'll be able to see them better over this way. Looks like a face. Interesting. So S is for Seneca. Right. Okay, got an ether antenna up there. That reminds me of that 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 reminds me of Mayan uh, architecture. Wow, that's a beautiful building. There's more pavement light right there. There's Fred. He's working with his brother Wilbur today. They have to team up every now and then when it's a big job. Carting around fat ass elitist. That's boss man right there. Doing the boss manning. Oh, okay, it's an Indian head is what that is. Okay, so that's what's on the other side. So they're attributing this to Indians. Okay. Smelling some horse poo there. Look at the size of that pole. I mean, dang. I think I'll make sure they get the ether out of that thing. Lyceum. Okay. See, that's the door right there. And, and this is the door we made <laughs> to retrofit it. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Why would you build this and then do this? Why not make something that... It, it just doesn't make any sense. Seriously, more pavement light right there. It just doesn't make any sense at all. That must be the top of a building. I don't know. That's really, or is it? I don't know what that is. That's weird. I don't know. Look at those houses. Antiquatech up here on the roofs. Okay. San Francisco, 1940. Silas Palmer House, northwest corner of Van Ness and Washington, built circa 1886, destroyed after 1940. Good. I am so glad that I got rid of that hunk of crap. I mean, I have never seen such ugly stick framing in my entire life. It's a travesty. It, unbelievable. Why would you stick that there? Now let's look at this car because this car is so much more beautiful. That car is actually pretty cool. Anyways, that car is pretty cool. We're not going to look at that old, mean old, hateful looking building with mud flood, you know, flow here, you know. Uh, we'll look at this one with uh, brick and facade and, you know, fire escapes that we had. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everything's on a hill in San Francisco. I wonder why. That's boss lady. She's in charge. Yep, no doubt. I got some cool detail right there. That's really nice work there. I guess we'll just have to look at this building. I mean, this ugly piece of crap house. I'm so glad they tore it down. I can't believe it took them until 1940 to tear it down. Unbelievable. I mean, who was pulling the strings there? It took them so long. I mean, gosh. I mean, you got mud flood windows sitting right out front where anybody can see. I mean, jeez. I mean, the stick framing is just completely ridiculous. I mean, who would want to look at such just terrible work? I mean, seriously. I mean, I, I you know, I'd rather look at the wrought iron with the, you know, beautiful designs you know I mean it's much better to look at with the Florida Lee and the Taurus you know field there 
uh, I guess we'll have to look at the steps that we added because the original first floor was probably down here because this sucker is probably in the mud and you see how they've got this this right here built up that was probably that's probably covering something up there I do believe it's in Tiquitec looking right there all this is hand carved I mean seriously you know this wasn't done with a table saw and a circular saw and power and air tools <laughs> didn't have a nail gun building this no 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 this is 1886 dear mr. contractor I want you to build me one of these I want it to be perfect in every way don't screw up you're in a very tight time frame I don't think you're gonna build that in three weeks there buddy no, nah, it's going to take you a couple more. Just saying. You ain't got the cojones to build that, Mr. Stick Framer. You wouldn't even take on the job to remodel this sucker, to update it, and historically restore it. And you know it. No way. Unless, not unless they paid, paid you millions and millions of dollars. And even then, I doubt most of you have the skill to fuck with that building right there. You ain't got it. Pyramid symbology. I mean, that thing is insane. That is quality work. Beautiful. Every piece is hand cut. Every piece is hand chiseled. You didn't pop pop this out the steam sawmill. Oh no 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 no. No. They didn't make that out of foam, my buddy. No 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 no. That's not foam. That look like foam. Foam. In 18, 1886. You got foam then? <laughs> Show me the phone. Phone. San Francisco, 1926, Market Street from the Ferry Building. So the trip down Market Street movie started up here and came down the street, came down the street, came down the street, came down the street, down the street kept coming down the street and got to here. And they turned around. And when they turned around, they saw an owl sign right here in the in the film and I think it's interesting because today you have owl written right here backwards which is weird because these signs are forwards so why is it backwards I don't know it's just an anomaly I see I don't know why Phoenix. Haha. -ha. Very interesting. I mean, this does this really look like San Francisco was destroyed? Doesn't look destroyed to me. Coppola, beautiful. That's a big old building right there. Big old archways. The scale of that is incredible. There's a trap door going into the underground right there. So all this is hollow. These are coal hole covers. Here, 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 here. So you got coal hole covers. That's a vault. There's probably pavement light up here, and pavement light has been confirmed in San Francisco. Got a barber shop. 
which is on the first floor, which is interesting. A lot of times they put them in the basement, which makes no sense. Why would you put a barbershop in the basement where you can't see? Very weird. A lot of trolley track there. It's interesting, they got two rail here. And there's a three uh, third rail system in uh, San Francisco also. 57, I guess that's Heinz 57. Is that a San Francisco product? I don't know. Okay. San Francisco 1915. Sutro Bass Spectators view to small pools so we're sitting with the spectators these are the spectators other known otherwise known as as weirdos watching the boys in their swim trunks okay so spectators sit around and watch people swim Bathers not allowed on this platform. Okay, and why do we have stands for sitting? What the hell are y'all watching? More stands. So these must be the elite booths up here. I mean, this is a heck of a structure. And it's is even this thing's huge. There's the big pool right there. Back in there, you got slides coming down. So you get your jollies on the slide. Four foot, three and a quarter feet. Three and a half feet. Two and a half feet. What kind of damn pool is that? No diving from this railing. Well, that would make sense. But I, w I guess you should tell boys that. Boys will be boys. We can't help it. For ladies only. So we're going to separate the boys from the girls. For some reason. Another slide. What the hell are y'all watching? What are these rooms right here? What is it? Ah, this is a weird place. A bell here. I don't know. That's just weird. Scranton, Pennsylvania, 1901, Board of Trade and Linden Street, completed in 1896. Okay. Big old Ether Tower, Mercury Ball. Wow, look at the detail on that sucker. Man. That tells a story. That's intricate right there. We would have added this wording here. Very cool. These awnings are just, I mean, just totally ugly. I mean, <laughs> I mean they totally added this. I mean, it's just, I mean, look, I mean, it, they're not even on every window. It's just like, oh, well, this one annoys me. That one annoys me. Add it on him, add it on him. And, and they, you know, it's an afterthought. You're going to put as this much thought into your building, and then you're going to, as an afterthought, add that crap. <laughs> you're going to zebra stripe your building after you do that. I mean, come on. Phoenician wave. Scrubbed cartouche. That's some kind of symbology there. I don't know what it means. Got something there. I can't see it too good. Maybe a laurel leaf of control. Look how big those doors are. Friggin' huge, man. There's Fred. He's on the job, as always. You gotta deliver all this material to build this world. 
you know, this is 1896, you know, well, this, this isn't, this is 1901, but this was built in 1896. See, Fred, he comes back and checks on his jobs. That's what it is. This is 1901. They still got horses running around, you know. It's crazy. Well, that's creepy. That's really creepy. Weird. Okay. Oh, that's going to tickle tech back here. Wow. More up here, Florida Lee. That probably was a portal. Florida Lee and Tickletech. Ether fencing. That's odd. I don't know what that thing is. Man, there's another one. Reminds me of those, uh, those, those baby cages that they had on the outside of the windows. If you've ever seen those, those are really creepy. Okay. St. Augustine, Florida, 1890s. The Ponce de Leon. It's a famous hotel. And the, one of the, the main um, points of this hotel that I just think is absolutely fascinating is that this hotel is just massive and in the hotel there is not one bathroom <laughs> i mean just think about that for a bit and think about that ether antenna right there what you up there what you up to on the portal I mean, they're re this thing is just really antiquity. I mean, what's going on there, man? They are pulling in that ether. They are lighting this place up big time. But can you imagine building something this massive? I mean, this is like Versailles, you know? We're going to build a big old palace, but we're not going to put a shitter in it. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> It, it, it just on face value is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, okay. Maybe, let's say you didn't have, you know, the technology of plumbing. You're not going to figure out a way of like, I don't know, putting a, a, a poop chute somewhere to where you can drop your shit out the third floor. I mean, what are you going to do? Run up in the middle of the night and... And run all down the stairs and then run outside and find you a bush. Take you a shit. I mean, it, it's just, it, it, face value is just fucking ridiculous. Makes no sense. The official story is just absolutely, excuse my, you know, French, but absolutely retarded. It's short bus. You got to ride the short bus to believe this stuff. And that's no offense to mentally challenged people. That's 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 a that's offensive to uh, dumbass people. Cause cause if you believe you're gonna build this sucker right here and not put a damn bathroom in it on purpose, or you're not gonna think about it, or you're not gonna have any you know thought process into making that and putting a fountain out front, which is part of the the energy system. I mean, if you're gonna do all that, I mean seriously. You ain't gonna put a damn bathroom in this thing. Seriously? Think about that. Not one person in this whole hotel can take a shit. Not one. Not a single one. Okay? How many people? Where are they gonna put? Is this the bathroom here? Okay, let's say this whole building is the damn bathroom. You're telling me all these people are gonna run from over here. Okay? Over to here. And take them a poo. Everybody poos. <laughs> At least they do in the new world. 
I think in the old world they didn't need them. That's another topic. What we got going on here? Uh, that's interesting. Eighteen nineties. I mean, does that add up to 1890s to you? 1890s. That dog don't hunt. Neither's this one. 1938 New York. That's a coal hole cover. I mean, look at, okay, look at the, okay. Do these children, no offense to these children, but do those children look like elite children to you? Do they look like they're the Rockefeller kin? No. Does that look like Rockefeller's front porch? You're damn right it does. Florida Lee and all. Why do these lower income people need to live in structures with this much detail paying rent? Rent. These are renters. Their parents are renters. I mean, these people, they ain't got air conditioning, okay? They don't need a porch like this, a, a stoop like this, a set of stairs like this. There's zero need. What they need is food. What they need is clothing, education, Some money to gamble with. <laughs> a bike. They don't need that. That dog don't hunt. Mississippi River, 1908. Vicksburg waterfront. I do believe I have gambled at a casino on that waterfront in my younger days. Uh, that's wild. Maybe a, a water tower being built or something. I'm not sure. I remember this this little place is is it's interesting. It's uh very uh, hilly. It's it's got this huge hill throughout town. Antiquitech right there up here. Train running right on the river. You know, there's the the trains and the canals ran together. So there's Fred. He's he's on the job. He gets to Pittsburgh too. He's 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 all over the place. Hello, monster. There you go, Coppola, Antiquitech. That's a big old sucker. Yeah, this hill is just incredible here. I remember thinking when I was in Vestburg, you know, it was kind of stupid for people to have built on this hill. It's just kind of weird. It's like, didn't make no sense. Thank goodness they had a riverboat I could get on and do some drinking and gambling. Play me some slot machines. That's old. That's some old stuff there. Wow, that's like right out of a Western movie. 
I think Western movies were propaganda to make people believe in the uh, uh, wow look at that burned out building so this was this could have been taken out during this uh, what they called the Civil War you know very possible it was a lot of they, they the Civil War was a dem, demolition campaign they were trying to take out the buildings so they went through and blew a bunch of shit up and demolished a lot of the old world but yeah I think uh, that westerns movies were propaganda I don't think it happened anything like that I don't think you had no cowboys and Indians and saloons and ghost towns and shootouts and and wide herp and all that shit it's all crap it's all Hollywood I think they wanted to tell a narrative with their antiquitech antennas up there. And look at the size of that church. Good grief. A lot of antennas. I think they wanted to sell the idea of the Old West and it was dangerous and you don't want to go out there because it's too dangerous to, to be out West and to travel and you know, you got to wagon train it and blah, 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 blah. It's all crap. You ever notice how all Western, you know, TV shows and movies are exactly the same? You know, it's, you know, it's always the same. It, I, I can't stand watching them because they're always the same story. Repackaged, just like country music. It's the same damn song over and over again. Repackaged in a, a, the fellows wearing a different hat and a pair of, different pair of boots. It's the same story. Over and over and over again. Anyways, that's Vicksburg. This is Washington, D.C. Professor H.E. Burton. And and I think that this is old world tech right here. I, I the, the scale of this thing just, to me, screams that we didn't make it. It doesn't, it doesn't fit. I just don't think that we made this sucker. That's just an opinion. And opinions is like tail holes. We all got one. That's a weird light right there. I've never seen a light like that. Very weird. I've never seen one like that either. That's strange too. Very interesting stuff. I mean, that just doesn't look right to me. This, this, it's like the the it, this should raise up, and I could just see a, a you know a giant just peeking through it. You know, I don't know. Who knows? Washington, D.C., 1914, National Museum flags, the huge American flag, uh, the tattered flag that flew over Fort McHenry, immortalized by the Francis Scott Key in the Star Sp Spangled uh, Banner song. Okay. So this is the horseshit narrative flag, supposedly. I just don't believe it anymore. Sorry. I don't know what you got going in these pictures here. Like a squid hanging in the air. That's odd. Look at the detail on this. Why, why would you need that much detail inside this room? I mean, what's the point? Seriously, who the hell y'all trying to impress? I think I, I think right ears are old world. I do, right there.
I think that's old world tech right there. I think the steam systems were in place already. Washington, 1920, curb work, car stopped on 14th Street, Northwest Streetcar Infrastructure. Okay, whatever. Got a pole here that's doing something. I don't know. Got worker men. Putting in street lights, it looks like. I guess that's what they're building. I mean, this is the technology they're using. Look at that that right there that that's the technology these fellas are using in 1920 you know that's a wheelbarrow you know that's their technology that's boss man right there no doubt that's coal hole cover there. That's another one right there. That, whew, I, hard to tell. Got underground right here. Mud flood, mud flood. That's what y'all want, ain't it? Mud flood. Give me mud flood. I want more. Give me more. Right there. It's right there. Coal hole cover that that right there could be a uh, pavement light right there hard to tell from the picture and see these are crap that this is crap we would have added here these these pieces that come out from the building Weird, okay. Coca Cola, get your cocaine, get it right here. You can still get your cocaine in your Coca Cola. Why do you think the, the recipe for Coca Cola is so secret? Why would they take out the secret ingredient in Coca-Cola? Why would they take out the ingredient that made Coca-Cola so popular? They just told you they took it out. It's still in there. I mean, seriously. What a world. This big's out. I go where monsters dwell Dancing like a man that threw a personal hell My flesh and bones feel all so sticky Off the midnight in the city
Just a taste makes me dizzy Again, say what again. I've got one that can see. This is my kung fu, and it is strong. See you later.